Where am I? You're in the middle of a war, genius. A war that will probably wipe you out. God Wars The Complete Legend is a tactical role-playing game inspired by Japanese myths and is developed by Kodokawa Game and published by NIS America. The original version of the game was produced on June 27th on the PS4 and also released on the PS Vita and was ported to the Switch on September 4th, 2018. In God Wars, you navigate a team of characters in turn-based combat who have over 30 different job classes and 200 weapons to equip with over 600 skill moves for your character to learn. The game's story is based on aspects of Kojika, translated in records of ancient matters, is the oldest extant chronicle Japan, dating from the early 8th century, composed by O no Yashimura at the request of Empress Genmi with the purpose of sanctifying the imperial court's claims of supremacy over rival clans. The story is pretty deep as you play the character of Kaguya, a girl whose mother sacrifices her sister to Mount Fuji. She is imprisoned in order to be raised to become the next sacrifice. And years later, she is freed and attempts to find her mother, who has since disappeared. As you add more characters to your team, however, her story slows and becomes more convoluted. And the game contains animated cutscenes as well as oil-based designs and beautiful artwork to add to this story and gives you a kind of complete picture. The English voice work doesn't seem up to snuff, so I would suggest to go with a Japanese voice cast in order to not scratch your ears out. And the music is nicely composed, but does have some repetitiveness. The game runs rather smoothly and utilizes the Switch mostly as a base console with lack of touchscreen support and standard play. But that's okay. The game does run rather well, and the playstyle is a tactical 3D sandbox which plays mostly like most tactical RPGs. You have a grid turn-based system which you can utilize to make moves during your turns. And as like most games in this genre, you can use various skills and effect statuses such as attacks and skill buffs and also debuffs depending on how you perform an attack. The victory conditions are pretty similar with each stage, and yes, it can be a little taxing as well, as levels start to mirror one another. As with most tactical RPGs, God Wars focuses a lot more on making the genre work for the game, rather than standing out. You can mix and match jobs and attributes in order to make your part more effective on the battlefield. And if you're playing through the story, however, you will need to use certain characters to make your party work and progress depending on what the story dictates. The main story and side quest of the game does get more and more repetitive, but if you are ready to grind, you'll be okay. If you're looking for a game that will give you around about 30 hours plus of playtime, then this is the game for you. Now, as always, if you're new to the Rather British Review, you will know that I will give games a rating between 1 and 5. With 1 being the worst and 5 being the absolute best, I give God Wars a solid 4 out of 5. It's a rather unique experience and daunting to say the least. So let me know in the comments below what your opinions of this game are and if you enjoyed your experience. If you want the more complete edition of God Wars, it is here on the Nintendo Switch. So make sure if you do purchase it, that you purchase it on this console. Now back to me as I beg for my life. So I did it. I cracked the code. There's no more war. I solved the problem. So now what are you going to do to me, you machine of clackering kinds of bolts? This isn't your game, fat ass. You're playing by my rules, and my rules say that your fat face is going to go wherever I put you. Yeah, come at me, bro. Excellent comeback, Baldy. Maybe I'll teleport you into a tube of road games.